my name is Laura and today I'll be doing my yearly favourites for you guys. When I was sitting down to plan this video, I was planning on doing three separate videos. So face, eyes and lips and doing my favourite products from each category. So foundation, concealer, lipstick, so on and so forth. But I truly sat down and I looked at the products that I listed and I was like, you know what? A bulk of these products are old products that I truly genuinely still love. So I was like, why don't I just pick out the products, the new products, in my favorite list that I made and I'll just show you guys in one video so that's what I decided to do today so yeah I hope you guys enjoy and let's get on to the video so let's start off with foundation oh my dear goodness this year I discovered the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation and it is freaking bomb I'm wearing it today and I love it so much it seriously lasts so well all day long I love it so much I'm not gonna ramble too much about it because I do have a review of it on my channel so I'll link that down below but seriously, a bomb AF foundation. I have discovered baking in 2016. And what I do is, for the most part of 2016, especially like in the mornings when I'm getting ready for work, I love baking. But I don't want to be messing around with like a loose powder. So I did discover the Maybelline Matte Maker in the shade Light. I've been using it with my beauty blender. So I've just been like dabbing into it. And then I just pack it underneath my eyes. And oh my goodness, it does the same as baking. But it's just in a pressed, compacted form. And I love it so, so much. This is my first one. But I'm literally using the outsides of it. It's so good. Also, I'm sorry if it seems like I'm rushing because I am. My room is honestly so hot right now and I need to get out of here ASAP. My camera light is flashing hot. I'm trying to fan myself to cool down. It's just ridiculously hot all over here in Australia today. <laughs> Another foundation that I've loved this year, if I don't want something as full coverage, but still very full coverage, if that makes sense, is the NARS All Day Luminous Foundation. This stuff is bomb. I will do a review of it very, very soon. I just haven't had a chance to at the moment, but I love this stuff so much. It's great for mixing and it's great on its own. If I have wanted to bake with a loose powder, it has been the RCMA No Color Powder. I have that on today. It is absolutely Great at setting your under eyes and just the rest of your face. It's really, really good and very, very affordable as well. For lip products, I've loved the Tarte Lippy Lingerie. I did buy almost all the colors and I did a swatch video, so I'll link that down below. But these things are absolutely bomb. I have a few here to show you guys today, but seriously, they're really, really pigmented and they're very, very hydrating as well. I would highly recommend it if you're in the market for like a chubby crayon lipstick type thing. The Maybelline Master Conceal. These are so good for everyday concealer or even nighttime concealer. These are very, very good coverage and they're very, very affordable, affordable as well. Oh my goodness, I'm getting tongue tied. These are so good. Another concealer that I literally only discovered in December, but it is bomb.com. Like it's knocked almost every concealer, like it's knocked my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer off. Like it's not even an option anymore. These are the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This stuff is actually bomb.com. Like, I would say that this is kind of like the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer mixed with Kevin Aucoin Central Skin Enhancers. That's how full coverage this is. It's not as full coverage as the Central Skin Enhancers, but then again, that is pretty much pure pigment. This is a little bit more workable and better for every day slash if you're going out and want a foolproof concealer. This stuff is so good. Smashbox Primer Water. This stuff is so great, especially in the mornings. I love how you can just spray your face and it's kind of like a two in one. Like it's a refresher as well as a primer. I really, really like it. It's very quick, very easy, and it's pretty much foolproof, I reckon. These things broke the internet in 2016. These are the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. Oh my goodness, the amount of effort I took to get these. Oh, they're so good. They're basically pure highlight pigment and I'm obsessed with them. They are a little bit hard to use for every day, but for going out, they're definitely worth the extra time. For eyeshadows this year, I kind of found my love for Makeup Geek. I did own Makeup Geek shadows before the start of the year, but this year I did do a bulk order. I think I spent like 600 bucks on Makeup Geek shadows. It's ridiculous. But I bought so many and I've honestly found my love for Makeup Geek shadows and I understand the hype about them now. This is kind of like a palette of my most used Makeup Geek shadows. I am wearing a few of these today. I'm wearing Latte and Barcelona Beach. So these two as well as Grandstand and then some glitter on my eyelids as well. But seriously, I understand the hype about Makeup Geek. They are bomb. For liquid lipsticks, I rediscovered Lime Crime. So I did use Lime Crime way back when, I think 2013, but I kind of just got turned off the brand with all the bad publicity I was getting. But I was talking to my friend Rebecca and she kind of changed my perspective of Lime Crime and I decided to give them like another go. And oh my goodness, I'm so glad I did. I fell straight back in love with Lime Crime liquid lipsticks. I have a few here now. I have Bleached 
Ellie and Lulu. I've got a mixture of Ellie and Lulu on my lips at the moment. Seriously, my favourite liquid lipsticks, I think, ever. Becca highlighters. Oh my goodness, they made my year. They were literally the highlight of my year, especially Champagne Pop. This one is in the, like, cheek Champagne Pop Cheek Palette, but seriously, just Champagne Pop made my year in terms of highlighter. It's so good and so versatile. I have always loved a good cream contour or cream bronzer, and this year I found one from the drugstore. I remember way back I used to use the Maybelline Matte Maker Fit Me Stick or whatever it was called, and that was good. Like It was like a foundation stick and it twisted up, and I used to use it for like cream contouring all over my face or cream bronzing all over my face, and that was great. But I don't know, I just didn't really like the the clear bit in the middle it broke down my foundation a bit so I was only using the sides and it just went all manky in the end it was good but it wasn't the best Rebecca recommended me this this is the fit me concealer in the shade cafe and oh my goodness it is so bomb I am wearing it today I do have a powder bronzer over the top but I love this stuff especially if you want a long wearing bronzer it is so good I put this on and then I will kind of set it with a powder bronzer so good, so affordable, I love it so much. Now, Lucky Last is actually a beauty tool, and I've actually found my love for beauty sponges. Like, I did use beauty sponges in the past, but I never really got the hype about them. Like, I thought that I could just get the same effect from a brush, but oh my goodness, using a beauty sponge for baking and my concealer, seriously, I love it so much. I don't really use beauty sponges for my foundation, but for concealer or cream bronzer or baking, seriously, life-changing. It doesn't need to be Beauty Blender, it can just be like the Chi Chi ones, the Real Techniques ones, or the Beauty Blender ones. Those are the three brands that I've been using this year and they are all so good. That's all the new products that I thought that I'd tell you guys about that I fell in love with this year. Some of these I've loved for a good portion of the year. Some of these I only just discovered a month ago or even this month, but honestly, I love these products. I wouldn't tell you guys that these products were good unless I honestly thought that they were good. You know what I mean? I'm not like that. I don't get sponsored. I, I don't need to get sponsored. I have a full-time job. I honestly, just from the bottom of my heart, truly love these products and I thought that I'd tell you guys about them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you had a very Merry Christmas and a great New Year. And yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.